Um, hey, somebody sent me a uh, an email talking about irony. Um, you know the Segway? You know that little two-wheeled thing where you lean forward and it goes forward and then you lean back and then it stops or something like that? Evidently, it's it's, you know... It's, uh, you know, one of those devices they made because I think that they felt like people weren't fat enough. And if there's any way, if we could just eliminate all walking. Uh, anyways, this the Segway owner died uh, after falling off a river cliff riding a Segway. <laughs> I know it's it's not a nice thing to do. To laugh at someone who dies, I know that they have family, so I'm, um, you know, well, what the fuck? And just the whole name of it, Segway. You know, the Segway brought him from this life into the afterlife. That was the Segway. Jesus Christ. I What, what was he thinking on that fall? I should have walked! <laughs> oh, and you know he was wearing those fucking shoes with the tassels. You know those ones that rich people wear or those fucking loafers? You know, they always wear the loafers without the socks. And they got their khaki shorts and some sort of yachting polo shirt. I bet he was dressed like that. He's probably on his cell phone. Maybe he was texting. Well, he had another one up against his chubby rich cheek from all those fucking hams he used to eat at that long dining room table. Yeah, I'm going to take off my Segway, go for a little spin around the fucking river that we bought. Fuck! <laughs> and you know what would be fucking hilarious is if when he went over the cliff, I bet he had a death grip. You ever heard of what a death grip is? Well, I'm going to tell you, even without the Internet. Sometimes uh, when, uh, when you're, you're, when you're in, a, in a situation where you're going to die, and I think it involves falling, your body has what's known <laughs> as a death grip, and it's... You just hang on so fucking tight. Like I saw this one time. It was basically there was there was two guys flying in a plane. Two guys flying into a plane walking to a bar. The bartender says, hey, you, you can't fucking park that in here. What's the deal? Two guys are flying this fucking plane, right? And uh, the rear door, aft, I believe they say, was uh, was making some noise. And they, they thought it might be a little bit of jar. So the co-pilot goes, I'm going to go. I'm going to get up. And I'm going to secure the door in the aft section of the airplane. So the other guy says, yeah, I'm going to sit up here with my fucking seatbelt on. You go over there and uh, learn about air pressure. <laughs> so this fucking dude goes back and, he, and in his effort to secure the door aft of the airplane, <clears throat> the aft section of the airplane. We need all of you to take your seats, please. We haven't come to a full stop at the jetway yet. Shut up, you cunt. Um, he goes back there, and I don't know. He went to try to shut it, and the fucking door pops open. This is one of these small Cessna planes, you know, where you open the door. Like the stairs are on the inside of the door, and you plop it down, and then you come down. And some whore puts a lay around your neck. One of those planes. Then you go surfing and get fucking hit by a tiki or whatever. One of those planes. So the door pops open, and this guy somehow, as he goes to fall out, he's falling out backwards, or maybe he grabbed the railing or whatever. All I know is this fucking dude went out the plane. So the pilot's up front going, holy fuck, my friend just died. So now he's got to land the plane, which isn't a problem. But the, the problem is, is that the door was, was ajar. The door aft, the aft section of the airplane is now ajar, and he's wondering, if, is it going to drag? Long story short, he fucking lands the plane. And when he gets out of the plane or walks to the back of the plane, <laughs> he sees the co-pilot laying, like, head at the bottom of the stairs, feet, like, still in the plane, and his hands gripping the fucking skinny little banisters. So he tries to get this guy to let go, and the guy is in, like, this catatonic state. And the the fucking announcer, the host of the show, was saying it took the fucking fire department 20 minutes to pry this guy's fingers (laughs) off of the goddamn banister things because he had what's known as a death grip. (laughs) I mean, do you realize 
just mentally where you go in that moment, where your brain overrides everything other than keeping your heart beating and your respiratory system going. The only thing your brain is saying is don't fucking let go. Grab on to that shit. It's just, it's not even saying hang on. I think it's just white noise. It says hang on. You have that thought. And then it's going ah! nonstop until you gradually come out of it and you're looking at that upside down firefighter's face with that stupid mustache and the smell of chili because he cooks in the firehouse telling you it's okay to let go now. So with that long fucking story, I bet this fat son of a bitch had a death grip on his Segway and went right to the bottom of the river. <laughs> Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. You know what kills me is that thing was completely fucking useless. Completely useless. I don't understand what what purpose it served. And that guy made he, he became a billionaire. The problem was is that they were 10 grand cuz you know goddamn well if those fucking things were 500 bucks everyone would have one like a fucking iPod. We would just be going down the street, looking like the beginning of one of those Star Wars movies, you know, where they have all the, uh, what is that? What is that computer technology that they always use that ruins every fucking movie? That's what it looked like. It looked like that computer technology that I don't know the name of, and I can't even tell you what it is because my fucking internet isn't working. So anyways, the body of 62-year-old James Helsden, Heselden, and a Segway personnel transporter... <laughs> were found in the river Wharf. I don't know what the fuck he said. And he was pronounced dead at the scene. I'm sure he was with his fucking legs sticking up out of that river mud. <laughs> he might, I bet he hit terminal velocity. Went in there like a fucking meteor. There's probably some conspiracy theorist trying to say it was actually a flying saucer. And they're just covering it up. And they actually killed this guy. Um... Police said a witness had reported seeing a man fall Sunday over a 30-foot drop into the river near Boston Spa, 140 miles north of London. The incident is not, to be, is not believed to be suspicious, police said. Is it believed to be ridiculous? I, I would have loved to have been there listening to those cops making those fucking jokes. Just the awkward silence and then somebody fucking kills it with a joke. It had to be something. Uh, that I can't think of right now. You guys want to write a joke for that? I'll read them next week. That's your, that's, your, that's your homework assignment. What did the fucking London police say? The first guy who made the joke about the Segway guy who went fucking 200-something miles an hour into the bottom of a riverbed with his own fucking invention. Has that ever happened before? Has the weight of any great inventor's invention ever just sent them, I guess, a plane maybe? I mean, that's some Frankenstein shit, right? I made you. It really isn't. Segway's not alive. Has anybody ever ridden a Segway now that I'm shitting all over it? See, uh, the battery-powered Segway, which is stabilized by, by gyroscopes, was invented by Dean Kamen, who f founded the company in 1999. Wait a minute. Oh, it's just a Segway owner. I thought this was the guy who fucking invented it. My fault. Oh, he's just a wealthy businessman. Jesus Christ. Isn't that classic me? I fucking have half the goddamn information. Oh, so it's not the guy who invented the fucking thing. It's just some rich bastard who had one. He didn't want to walk anymore. He actually looks like a hot shit, you know, like he drank some scotch and could tell a story. Jesus Christ, now I'm starting to feel bad. Who the fuck is Dean Kamen? Founded the company in 1999. The unique transporter relies on electricity to recharge its batteries and travels at speeds up to 12 and a half miles an hour. I guess it's far more protective of the environment than other scooters and automobiles, the company says. Well, Jesus Christ, that's a big fucking red flag. According to us, our product's the best. Claiming it's 11 times more efficient than the average American car. Yeah, and fucking 30 times slower. You know what? Fuck Dean Kamen. All right? If you learn anything from this week's podcast, fuck Dean Kamen. All right.